What's up guys? I've got a video today that I've been waiting to do for months. So back in September, Sony announced a new cinema camera, the FX9. And I've been seeing this camera get poo-pooed a little bit uh, in different outlets like Sony Alpha Rumors. A lot of people that have Alpha cameras are not quite impressed with this particular camera. Uh, people waiting for the A7S Mark III, including me, I'm waiting for that camera too. But I saw a lot in this camera that I'm really excited about. S-Cinetone color profile, 6K down sample, dual native ISO, 15 plus stops of dynamic range. Uh, let's unbox this new camera. I've been waiting for such a long time to get it. Feels so surreal that I'm actually getting a camera this high end. I'm really excited to start using this camera in 2020 for all of my projects. Uh, so let's get started opening this thing. You know, I actually, I, I brought this in the apartment and I was like, can I just open it up and look? And Kristen was like, no, it's gotta be authentic for the video. So this is, this is the first time I'm seeing it. I'm, I'm ready to see what's in the box. Here we go. We got cardboard. Oop, that was loud. We got cardboard. We've got an eyepiece here. All right. The loop along with the viewfinder. So looking good. There we go. All right. So that's one of the benefits is this is an upgraded viewfinder from the FS7. This is a, a higher resolution, nicer display. So that's going to be nice to use. Okay, where should we go next with this? We've got instruction manuals. All right. We've got battery chargers. We've got a uh, power adapter. We don't need to see that right now. All right, okay, all right. More cardboard. Here we go, we're getting into it. Here is a battery, all right, all right. I like how this box is packed. There's absolutely no way that I'm gonna be able to put it back together the way it came. But you know what, I'm just going for it. Here is the hand grip. All right, this is something worth actually opening up. All right. So I've actually never shot on an FS7 or an FS5, but uh, this thing feels nice. I hear it's more like the hand grip on the FS5 than the FS7. So that's really nice. All right, I think we're we're getting to the camera itself. This is this is so exciting. Oh my gosh been like dreaming about this camera for months opening it this this exact moment watch me drop it all right here we go here we go there it is the Sony FX9 wow man I've been watching video after video after video on this thing and to finally see it is pretty awesome. So we've got a lot of controls here. The big feature that I'm looking forward to is this variable ND. Uh, it's got a locking E-mount. I'm gonna have to figure out how to use that. Hopefully I don't drop any lenses. Uh, as you can see, I'm not exactly sure how I need to do this. Oh, I think you turn. Oh, there we go, okay. And there is the full frame sensor. Look at that guy. All right, so. This camera, I'm telling you guys, is such an exciting camera. Um, there are some cameras that are shooting 6K. Obviously, the Blackmagic Pocket 6K and the S1H do it at a much cheaper price. But I think the, the total package with autofocus, low light performance, uh, dynamic range, colors, this camera is going to be really amazing for what we're doing. Uh, you guys want to shoot with it and test it out a little bit? I think I do. Kristen, what do you think? Check it out. New camera, new baby. It's not as heavy as I was thinking. Oh, but a battery goes battery in. Battery goes in, lens goes on. Oh yeah, then that might get tiring. What the heck? I can't believe we have this. Our son. Sunny. Sunny boy. Okay, so the camera is up and running behind me. 
I've been so excited just to actually get some video clips. I know I'm not gonna shoot anything compelling today, um, but I do want to get some test clips just so I can pull them into the computer, see how they look. So I have two XQD cards that I'm going to put in there and uh, we're just going to get a few test shots. Just some, some shots on a tripod just to see pure image quality and I'll throw in some clips with the a7 III in there just to see if you think there's a significant difference between the two. So something else that is very nice to see is using my Sigma art lenses. The camera does seem to be tracking my face. Uh, you can see right here, we got the box. That is a very encouraging sign for this camera because one of the concerns that I had is that the compatibility with the Sigma art lenses might be less than ideal. Okay, so I've just been kind of messing around in the apartment, getting some shots, testing out the camera, trying to figure it out a little bit. I still have a lot of work to do. Um, I've got to clean all this mess up because Kristen and I are having a few friends over for New Year's. But let's finish the video up on the FX9. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about first impressions with this camera. It has been a little while since I've got a new camera. Uh, the last one I got was the a7 III, obviously. I got the a6500 back in 2016, and now we've got the FX9, which I'm just, I'm staring right into the lens and the camera looks amazing. I have a screen that I can look at right here. It articulates. That's really nice for YouTube videos. I think this thing is really going to be a beast for a lot of the projects that I'm doing. The only drawback right now is that I have a lot of learning to do, a lot of figuring out with the completely new redesigned menu system from my Sony Alpha setup. But so far, looking at the shots, I was super pleased with some of the dynamic range. I was very pleased with the variable ND. I can tell that that feature is going to be used so much by me. Overall, I'm just so excited about the projects that I'm gonna be able to put together with this new camera. We're gonna make some amazing stuff in 2020. I'll see you in the next video. Happy New Year, guys.